Climbing back and we'll be off. I can't wait here forever. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here, or you'll end up like Rogvir. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor! doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric no. challenged Thoric. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Greetings and salutations to you all, ladies and gents. How is it going? I'm interrupted by the NPCs once again. Kluger welcomes you back to another episode of A Tale of Reluctance with Ron the NPC. As always, I hope you are fantastic and well. As you can quite plainly see here, we have reached a, reached solitude, rather. Ron, in an endeavor to try and escape the title Dragonborn, has gone as far as he possibly could and has moseyed over to solitude. Um... Yeah, we're going to look around. He's obviously had quite the introduction to the place. Obviously, our old buddy over there has not ended so well. He's had a bit of trouble, apparently. <laughs> so, Ron's a little bit on tenterhooks with what's going on. But nevertheless, we will persevere. Oh, yeah, my menus. Hey. Any friend, this here axe in full swing is a right terrible sight. Yeah. Spare I reckon. Some gold for a Can you spare a septum? Yeah. Lost an eye during the Great War, or I'd earn it myself. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Of course. So what's your what's your story, buddy? I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble. Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Jeez. What if I could find the helmet for you? I mean, I'm I'm Ron, the NPC. I'm trying to help the peoples of Skyrim. Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. Well, you know. See what we can do. Cheers, buddy. I do miss that helmet. Best of luck to you. But now we're not going to get straight to that. We're going to wander around, see what other trouble is going on around these parts. You know what I mean? Who are you, Sorax? Might want to rethink that. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities working in that bar. You talk too much. Sheesh! Everyone wants a, wants a piece of Ron. You know? Maybe word has spread. I hope not. What's this place? I've got a little work if you're interested, nope. traveler. He's talking to me from down there. What a freak show! Ah, oh, perfect. We've got ourselves a forge. Excellente. What hurt me? Oh, I headbutted the sign. Apparently that hurts you these days. I didn't know that was a thing, but anyway. So, as it turned out, I did indeed have some sort of disease, so I had to drink a cure disease potion. Now I'm doing a lot more damage than I was before, which is really good. Upgraded my war, my orcish war axe to a, a fine orcish war axe and worked a little bit on smithing. I'll grind that up off camera. Um, ooh, where's it? Have you got a potato crop? He's got a potato. Why is there an iron arrow here? That's a bit weird. Can I? Where? 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 I saw potatoes. Potato plant. Yes. <laughs> What's this? What's this poser doing? You, you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. This guy's heard of Ron. I help people. What do you need, buddy? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? You know, you found the right guy. How can I find your master, good sir? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. 
but no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend, said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Okay. Sure thing. Until next time. Oh, look. I'll do what I can for you. I can't make any promises. This is getting a little weird, but... You know, you seem like a guy who needs some help. So, we'll see. We'll see. A little... You know, we're, we're chaotic good. We'll, we'll, we'll do a little breaking and entering if it helps someone who's clearly in need. Possibly of medical bills. Welcome to the Bard's College. It's like Welcome a to the Bard's College. The Wait a minute, you I'm stupid there. quest marker. You sh That's some of Ron's finest work right there, you know what I'm saying. Why is there two quest markers now? Why you confuse me so? Hang on. Gain access to Pelagius Wing of the Blue Palace. We clearly gotta go to the Blue Palace, am I right? Which is probably this way. It was very confusing quest markers. Hey -o. Ouch. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Run. How could mere men bring down such a beast? It's true. I was there. I'm not dragonborn or anything though. <laughs> it's fine. Hello. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected. I'm not I'm busy, sir. Do 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 Folk Firebeard Please don't interrupt the court. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are okay. strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. upon something. Then we will immediately What is hang on, just out of character here. Gain access to the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. To scour the cave so, the town. should they not? Should that not be somewhere else? Have a quick look around. Pelagius wearing requires key. Ah, okay. We're very bad at lock picking, though. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for. Oh yes, of course you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Yar Elisif. But about the cave. I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Everybody done? Okay. Do you have... I am the Jarl steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. Okay, well I need to get into the Pelagius wing. Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years. And for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Well... Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Feel free to return to me with questions. You're right, the chump. The palace is an open forum. So there's another one over here. What, where you point? Oh, she'll have one. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I gotta try this once. No, she ain't got no key. I'll talk to you then. Watch your feet. We just clean there. Shut up. Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. Falk asked me to check it out. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. You're a wuss. If Birdie caught me chatting, I'd never hear the end of it. Easy. Look, we see we can we can stay on the side of good without picking pockets and everything's fine. We're very good at this and we get to help the crazy man. What ghosts? So, Hmm. Ron's not nervous. Everything's fine. Well, what we were. So there's a lot of spidery webs. Uh oh. Marty, Pelly, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. Goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. 
So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old? How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. So, I think old Darren Vivivia Place person was asking for quite a lot. I'm here to deliver a message, kind sir. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Well, I've. Actually, I do. Little joke. I but saw you. Seriously, what's the message? Stop interrupting me. I saw your joke coming. Um, I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, ah? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Um, well, I'd like to meet Stanley. Um, all I know is that you, you, you people need to return. There's crazy, what's his name, in, in solitude. <sighs> oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably... Bored! I mean, really. Here he is, Stan. Before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. So, so you leave or not? What, what, what do you want? Help me out here, Shea. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Is it? Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Garden. Any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> cool. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Nope. Use the Wabachak to escape from Pelagius' mind. Easy. Not really, but... Let's do the thing! Do I have it in my inventory? Ah, oh, there it ah! is. Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, 
the undead, Pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here, here fully. They're always carried out. Never should have come here. Ah. The self-loathing enhances ah. Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into battle. You can't win. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. Yay, I did a thing. Okay. Shigoras likes to talk a lot. He's taking, he's stealing all my thunder. But hey, we're pro at wabberjacking, apparently. That sounded kind of dirty. Ha ha ha, it's fine. Okay. Let's take a, a bit of a right hand turn. I can't remember how to do all this, to be honest, so we'll see how we go. Um, You've headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. It's just a stupid wolf. I win. Just shoot the weather jacket at everything, right? Do I need to shoot it again? No. Nope. Hey. Now ain't this a surprise? something <laughs> weirdo and what was I gonna say now I forget god dang it stupid brain I had a thing to say oh well it doesn't matter it's fine we should be okay to just blow through these without any too much trouble and push the episode time way over hopefully not we shall see what happens come on where's the next one bring it on fools what are you waving at dumb dumb Come on, who's next? Hello. Ah! Oh, that'll do it. Oh god, that is that is not very nice looking. Oh, that's better. Oh, oh, oh. hello there. Okay, anyway. Well, do I have my potions on me? Nope. I shoot you again. Yes. Ah, oh, get wrecked. Get Weber jacked. Whatever that means. Hey. Feel better yet? Dum dum. Oh, what well, a lead shot. Now, that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. How good was that shot? Seriously. Is can I no, I can't search his chest, it would seem. Come on, let's go. One more one more test. And we win the thing. Let's do this. I'm hungry. Being in an alternate dimension really works up an appetite. Now the, Ron's mind is slowly bending here, by the way. This is this is strange. He did the Oh good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it. Less so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age the danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, while they do the same. Um, yes. Okay. Like that? Like that? Or like this? Who's, who's prone to wabajacked? Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. Ah, I'm smart. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Good. 
Can I go home now? Stupid sheer Gorath. I did your nonsense. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Can I do the fish stick? Anyway, I've done it. I fixed it. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Okay, see ya. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Okay. Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? Mm. There's that's potatoes. My little mortal minion. Feel free to keep the Wabba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. <laughs> Ta -ta! Bye, I guess. How do I go? Thank you. Well, I guess we did the thing. We helped What's-His-Face. I'm still in these, these chump clothes. Get that out of here. So, I don't even remember. There we go, we've got a Wabberjack. Whatever that is. Um, dun -dun 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 -dun. I was wearing this. I was wearing... This and this. And those and those. Very good. Alright, well let's just get out of here real quick. I don't like it. It's a very spooky place. Ooh, a book. No, it's lame. Never mind. Where's the stupid door? <laughs> Ow! The bed down here. What in the even is... I can't believe headbutting things d does damage. Like, when was when was that a true thing? So I sure as heck don't remember that. Classic. Just, I want out. Just get me out of here. That would be tip-top. Door. Hello. Tell you what, let's... Oh, there it is. Stupid idiot. Well, anywho. I'm sure having this Wabberjack's not going to cause any fuss for anybody else in the universe and world of Skyrim. Ha 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 ha. Am I right? Let's... I'm going to do a little bit of trickery here. Because we're going to get the front view here. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Nice one, Ronald. Yeah. So, we've got a Wabberjack. It's going to be fine. It's not a worry at all. Um, that's going to look a bit better. There we go. So, I'm sure this doesn't bode ill for anyone else who will say trying to collect Daedric artifacts or whatever. You know, some sort of overlord evil character surely doesn't need this. But in either event, we are done. We helped What's-His-Name get back to his master, Sheagorath. I'm sure they'll make each other very happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode. Remember to like and comment below. Subscribe if you're digging this. I hope to see you again very, very soon. My name is Kluger, and you have a great day.